Hello students, welcome back to the next session on basic electrical and electronics engineering. I professor Preeti Shwebhute welcome you. Today's topic of discussion is types of sources. This is a next type uh, uh, topic from unit number one. The name of unit number is, uh, one is DC circuit. We already started about discussion of DC circuit in previous session. Now, what is type of sources or rather first of all, first question is what is sources? Sources as name indicate sources are the one which source something. Here we can consider this as this topic belongs to the electrical engineering. This is nothing but types of DC or AC power sources. So here we are discussing about an power sources. As name indicate power sources, these are the sources which delivers us a power. Now again type of sources can be derived from many different type of classification. For example, whether it provides an constant output or whether it can provide an alternative output. Based on that we can classify it, uh, these sources as AC and DC sources. Means for example, a power supply, if it source an AC current, we can call it as a AC current power supply or if it so, uh, or source and DC, DC voltage, we can call it as a DC voltage supply or DC current supply accordingly. Same is the case, the sources can be an voltage source as well as current source. Again, there can be further classified as a AC voltage source, DC voltage source and so on. In fact, a uh, source can be classified based on whether it can provide an uh, output voltage as a constant voltage or uh, if the output is varying one or we can say variable power supply. So variable power supply are generally known as dependent power supply because output value of this particular dependent power supply are dependent on some other parameter in a circuit whereas constant power supply are the one whose output value is completely independent of any other parameter in a circuit and that's why it is also known as independent power supply. So these are the different type of classification. We can classify it as a AC power supply, DC power supply, voltage power supply, current source or we can classify it as a independent source or dependent source. Now let's see a complete chart together. So sources further we can uh, classify and draw a complete chart of so different type of sources as for example here I am taking an uh, all dependent power supply and here I am taking an independent power supply. As name indicate it is independent means output value of these power supplies it might be an voltage it might be an current or it might be an power it is completely independent of any other element in a circuit whereas in case of dependent power supply output is dependent on some other parameter again we can further classify this as whether it provides an output power as an AC or whether it can provide an output power as an DC that is direct current or alternating current again in case of AC we can have two different things it can provide an voltage as an output or it can provide current as an output. So we can call it as a AC current supply or AC voltage supply. Same is the case it can also provide an alternate uh, in case of DC also we can have an voltage source as well as current source. Now what are the different type of AC sources and what are the symbols that I will show you in a next slide. But now let's see about a dependent. Here there can be an three way of or uh, four different ways of having a dependency. So that's why I'm drawing a four lines over here. So it can it might be an voltage source, it might be an current source, it might be an voltage source or current source. So here I'm representing current as a C. So it might be an voltage dependent voltage source or it might be an current dependent voltage source or it might be an voltage dependent current source or it might be an current dependent current source. So as name indicate it is voltage dependent voltage source means that this is a voltage source it is again a voltage source whose voltage output voltage is dependent on some other voltage in a circuit that's why it is known as a voltage dependent voltage source. Similarly over here it is voltage uh, current dependent voltage source means it is a voltage source but the output value of this particular voltage source is dependent on current at other branch or some specific branch in a circuit. Similarly over here this is a current source but the output of this particular current source means current output of this particular source is dependent on uh, uh, is dependent on voltage across some specific point in a circuit or this is a current dependent current source means again this is a current source whose output current is dependent on some other current in a circuit or some other current in some other branch. Now let's see the official symbols of this. See this is an official symbol of current source. If it is a DC voltage source then it is been represented by capital I but if it is an AC alternating current source then it is been represented by small i in bracket T because output is dependent on time because it is something like this. So here output is not constant throughout it depends on the time. 
similarly this is a voltage source as it here it has been represented by positive negative it clearly indicate that this particular voltage source is a dc voltage source dc voltage source have two different official symbols so this is the one symbol which has been inspired by battery you can see that this is the one set of a cell and this is another set of a cell and these two cells are connected in series so that's why this is a symbol of voltage dc now in case of alternating current the symbol is something like this again there is an circle there is an tilt symbol inside a circle and it is being represented by v of t again while representing an dc voltage source v is capital while representing an ac voltage source v is uh, majority cases v is taken as a small and in bracket t t indicate it is again dependent on time because voltage is also varying in case of ac whereas in case of dc output voltage remains constant independent of a time just like over here current remain constant independent of timing parameter now these are the symbols about an uh, practice or ideal voltage source and current source but practically it is not so see this is an ideal power supply uh, voltage source with a internal resistance as a zero but practically internal resistance of any voltage source is not zero but it have some finite smaller value and that's why that value has been represented by rs and this is the corresponding symbol which indicate that this rs register is in a series with vs voltage source and output voltage is definitely less than vs means v out is always less than vs in this particular case because this is an practical Practical voltage source output cannot be same as that of, as that of into input because some voltage will get a drop across this resistor and this resistor is known as a source resistance. Similarly, if I show an practical uh, or we can say a practical current source, then that practical current source is represented something like this. Again, there is an current I over here. It might be an DC current or it might be an AC current represented by small I or capital I. Then there is an resistance known as a RS. RS indicates source resistance in parallel with the source supply and this is an current I. Now current output O out is always less than I of this particular input because some current will get divided across RS resistor. So this is about practical current source. Practical current source. Now uh, let's come across an independent or dependent sources. So whatever we have discussed till now these are completely independent sources. Now let's see the example of a dependent sources so this is current controlled current source as it is a current source this is been represented with a uh, with the help of arrow please observe a rectangle box over here or we can call it as a diamond shape which indicate it is a dependent power supply in contrast with a circle because circle represent an independent power supply as it is a current source this has been represented by arrow whereas in case of voltage source it has been represented by plus, plus minus sign now you can see that in one of the branch in circuit that branch is completely independent in that branch if current i is flowing then current in this particular branch is same as at of a of i into i where a is a multiplication factor or gain of the current and i is a current at this particular branch same is the over here it is a current controlled voltage source as it is a voltage source is it being represented by plus minus sign and as it is dependent on current so this current or some other branch are carrying a current i and that's why output voltage is represented by a sigma of i where i is nothing but a current in some other branch now similarly this is voltage controlled current source as it is a current source it has been represented by arrow and this is a voltage source that's why it has been represented by plus minus sign and and as it is dependent on voltage at some other point in a circuit in both the figure you can see that there are some other point in a circuit where voltage v is there and here output voltage v is a v of v where a is nothing but a voltage gain and v is nothing but a in voltage across some other point and their multiplication is nothing but a total output voltage over here and same is the case the output current over here or output current over here is a g of v where a g is nothing but a current gain or we can say convergent gain of this particular circuit so these are the official symbols of independent power supply which consist of independent voltage source current source ac dc battery representation then practical power supply there are ideal power supply practical voltage source practical current source and dependent power supply as well as we had discussion about different types of source based on the its classification criteria so that's it for this particular session in next session we will discuss about some other parameter related to electrical engineering now till then see you and stay safe thank you